Yes, sir, Ski. Yo, this game finally released, brother. Oh, nah, bro. My character looks crazy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> Yo, what the hell this is this, dude? I'm pretty sure this uh this is supposed to be a scarf, but for some reason, like, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, peep my tongue, baby. You like it? <laughs> All right, gang. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is my character. I think this is as drippy as I'm gonna get him. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, yeah, I think we did our thing. I don't know. We have a spin menu here. What does this even do? Oh, it spins our race. Okay, so we're human right now. Let's go ahead and spin. What are we? Come on. Can I be a mink and Oni or a sky beam, please? Please, man. I was a tester, dude. Oh, come on. I played the game early, please. I should have like five, five million luck, bro. I should get like the rarest thing just off rip. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep Skype here for now. <laughs> right? I think we're good. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. They're like constantly changing the music in the background. I'm not really quite too sure why. Um, I've heard there's been a lot of bugs in the game on the Discord, but I'm not quite too sure if I'll experience them because they apparently have been fixing them. So we'll see how it goes. But I do like this intro. Right over here, brother. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. All right, so I turned the music off. Um, the game looks really nice, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm so glad that it's finally out and people can actually play it and check it out for themselves. Damn, I maybe I have higher jumps because I have this guy peeing race. I'm jumping like mad high. But you, you know what? Let me get my intro out the way. So uh, yeah, guys, this is gonna be a series on the channel. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that. If you're excited for that, and drop a like on the video. And I got you guys with daily videos on this game. Um, alongside my other series that I have not been uploading, but you know, daily videos, triple uploads, it's gonna be amazing, brother. That's right, guys. In today's video, we'll finally be checking out the new One Piece game that released today called Legacy Peace. So now I'm grinding dolo in they absence, look, but I'm still sticking to the plan because I mapped it, look, and I don't care about going slow, just not backwards. If you didn't drop a like on the video, this Damn, menacing spider so. right here will be underneath your bed tonight. Trust me, guys, you don't want to risk it. Drop a like on the video right now if you don't want that to happen. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, um, let's get this started. I'm so excited to actually be able to play on my own and not have Unreal just like breathing down my neck, trying to tell me like, come here, do this. <laughs> right? So they have a shop over here. You can buy items and stuff. Look at that. They have a crude cutlass, a katana. Um, Got a couple other things. This is pretty pretty sick. Um, I, I think I don't know if GPO handles stuff like this, but I, I I remember Pixel Piece handled things like this, and I really like that aspect of it, where you could go into like these rooms and you would buy the items off the walls, uh, shelves, stalls, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, so I won't be able to buy anything because I don't have money, right? But uh, 50 belly for this log pose, so I'll get that when I can. Uh, I'm also going to try to check. Let me see. Do they have codes that we can use? Um, settings, maybe? The codes? Let's check. Yeah, they do have codes. All right, let me see. All right, so they actually have a good amount of codes. Um, there you go. They have a release code. Okay, well, I don't know for a reason. You can literally, like, type in um, a bunch. Yeah, you see, like, a bunch of stuff. And you can click this, and it'll say already redeemed. <laughs> and it shoots confetti. So I was, like, literally saying mad codes. And I thought they were working, but none of them were working except the first one that I showed you guys. All right, well, anyways. Uh, so they have NPCs that are randomly walking around. Uh, then they have a like, spawn crystal that you can, like interactive to like set your spawn point um okay i think i gotta go over here because of the indicator but let me go down over here and see what's cracking down over here i, I yo, i've been so excited for the release of this game because like we really don't have good one piece games on the platform right now in fact we don't have good games in general so i'm not gonna say this game is like the top of the tippity top but it for damn sure is one of the better games um like visually of course and from the game play that i've played before but um oh, we got a quest over here i'm preparing for a feast okay for a celebration uh i'm not reading all that uh she says please be kind and gather me some of those sugar beets okay um i'll come back <laughs> right i'm not gonna do any of these side quests just yet uh by the way look you can you can beat on cows right this game is definitely beating the bandit beating allegation guys because instead of you attacking bandits when you start off you can just you know beat on animals you see that look at that 
I got a boss drop. How the hell did I get a boss drop? Well, that's not a boss drop. That's just cow meat. Well, I'll equip it uh, because you can use like the cow meat and stuff that you get to heal yourself. So this game does have an actual like, I don't know if it's a cooking system or bro. Is that a horse? <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, what the hell? Okay. Well, hopefully they have mounts or something. I don't know. But I, I, I like that they have like all this wildlife in the environment. That's actually pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, yo, whoever scripted that, that, that Wilmo in the park, man, <laughs> that man's using the wrong code. All right. Anyways, um, uh -huh. talk to the wood shop here. So why are you so late? I told you to meet me here two hours ago. Anyways, we don't have time anymore. Go talk to Makino. She needs you. We can talk later. Well, who the hell is Makino? Oh, okay. We gotta go this way. Wait, so what does the Sky Pian Rays do? I should have probably read on that. Like in some games, you can like glide and stuff, but it doesn't seem that I could in this game. Ooh. Damn, what the hell is that guy doing? All right. What's up, Makino? How are you doing? Well, I, I guess you're doing fine. And I leveled up a couple of times already. <laughs> Actually, it says I leveled up, but I'm still level one if you look at the bottom left hand corner. What, yo, what is going on? <laughs> are these bugs? Uh -huh. Yo, man, I ain't gonna lie, on view. Maybe the game wasn't ready for a release, man. I could understand now why y'all delayed uh, the game by a week, but it probably needs some more time. Anyway, hey, uh, hey there, excuse me. It's been a while. I need a favor. Could you take this up the hills to Dadans? I would do it, but I'm kind of caught up right now. Uh, okay. So there's Dadan. She's like, bring me my drink. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we have uh, NPCs that have golden. Oh wait, is it inside? No, it's not inside actually, it's over here. So, it's kind of interesting how I don't really see that many people in my lobby. I don't think that uh, the size for the servers is that great because I don't see anybody here at all. Uh, but to be fair to the game's defense, as you guys can probably tell, the islands are very, very, very big. So I think coming across player inter interaction is gonna be kind of, bro, there's absolutely, okay. Well, I don't know why they want me to go all the way down here to bring these these milk things there, but okay. Uh, but yeah, like player interaction is probably gonna be far uh, and few in between. Is that a fruit? Weapon, w weapon, weapon, fruit. Why can't I not? What the hell? Weapon, weapon. Okay, I picked it up. Is that my first devil? What the hell is? Oh, that looks so weird. All right, let me eat that. All right, so I got a weapon, weapon, fruit. Did I store? <laughs> what the hell is going on, bro? <laughs> I feel like stuff is all over the place. Oh, there you go. Uh, weapon combat used to fight off other people with your weapon devil fruit. This is a legendary devil fruit? Oh, bro, I, am I just that lucky, gang? Yo, what are the odds? Me just running randomly and I stumble across a legendary devil fruit. So they have the spot of flash, which, yeah, it turns you into a weapon. You can, ooh, damn, the VFX, my God, damn. Man, what are the odds, right? I just started playing. I'm already, uh, <laughs> I'm already getting swole. So yeah, I don't, I don't think if I remember correctly, I don't think the game has stat points. It's just that you know you level up and that's it. Now longevity wise, I don't know how good that is, uh, for the game's sake because I, one of the main appeals, in my opinion, for One Piece games, is people being able to allocate their stat points and test out different builds and, and be that glass cannon should they want to be a glass cannon or. Um, hyper focus on defense if they want to be tanky, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you know what I mean? Oh, this is Shanks. Hey there. Uh, okay, no, I'm not gonna help you out. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on doing the main storyline because I think that maybe the main storyline has level requirements. So, possibly, uh, what will happen is that yeah, I'll get to the point in the story where I can't progress anymore, and then at that point, I'll come back here and do all these different side quests. Now, it would have been nice if the game actually gave us somewhat of a tutorial to tell us, hey, you know, the 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 blue exclamation marks mean this. The yellow exclamation marks mean that. You know what I mean? Um, but it is what it is. This this map is huge. Like I said it before, guys, but I, I really don't think you understand the scale <laughs> of this map. This thing is freaking huge, man. If you get the chance to play the game for yourself, you, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. But holy smokes, man. And the craziest thing is this map looks different than what it did when I was actually uh, playtesting the game with Unreal to make some videos for you guys. But here's this lady's house. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, and what do, what do we do? Do we talk to her? Do we hand it in? Do we go here? What the hell? Oh, we go over here. All right. Well, 
We leveled up and we completed that quest. And now we gotta talk to huh? this woman. She says, thanks for delivering this to me, but I heard you're leaving this island. Don't make me laugh. You're so weak and meager. I doubt you'll save, uh, You'll be able to survive a day in the sea. This ain't no child's game. Prove me wrong. Defeat six of my subordinates. Okay. So, I gotta defeat six bandits. And the bandits are like 50 million miles away. Um, okay. So, this is, this is why I had hoped that, you know, Unreal, uh, at one point could have gave me the opportunity to uh to play the game let me let me set my spawn point here just in case but to play the game without the hand holding that he was giving me because that's the thing right a lot of devs and i'm not i'm not talking about uh well not devs but owners and i'm not talking about unreal here but a lot of them like they 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 like to be very like controlling in the sense of what people see and i get that and everything but i feel like a lot of this stuff was very easily avoidable and somebody whether it would have been me or some other content creator or some other tester would have said like hey you know you should do this this that and the third but to me like this level design or the map design rather is just like this is no bueno like i i still don't know what the hell is from the beginning of the map all the way up to here i still don't know what half of the things that are offered are and the story doesn't progress as you progress with the side quests that are given to you either so now what i'll have to do is i'm all the way at the opposite side of the map complete these main quests and then backtrack and backpedal to the beginning of the other map to try to do whatever other else uh is down there right so again i, I feel like that's that's just, that's just pretty bad uh pretty bad uh level design map design whatever you want to call it but let's go ahead and attack here a couple of times let's use our abilities i think i got interrupted there but i'm not really quite too sure okay we are getting messed up all right cool and um oddly enough I, I don't know if you guys realize this, but the alert VFX is okay. So this, this, this is, a, this is a, a problem with, uh, um, states, right? So right now, like as the NPCs are walking around, they're in an idle state, right? When they, uh, interact with you, they become alerted. So then they're in an alerted state and, and it prompts the VFX to, you know, to email or whatever the case is, right? Hold on. Um, but as you notice, right, when you knock back an NPC, and this was a problem when I was playtesting as well, when you knock back an NPC, um, like it loops the idle state. It's like, the, it, it's like, so basically, I don't know. It, it, it's just a problem with, with states. Again, I guess like the knockback state loops with the idle state and then it, it just prompts as if like, oh, the NPC got alerted as you're knocking them back. That's why you see that exclamation mark. Pop, uh, pop off excuse me every single time like i'm more than sure that it's not an intentional uh choice and if it is that's very bad like again just design choice overall because it's like they get alerted with an exclamation mark when they first see you and then every time you knock them back there's an exclamation mark like no like you know what i mean i'm more than sure it's what i'm telling you guys where it's like they're not properly handling uh game states or stays for the NPCs in this area for that matter. But um, again, I don't mean to like, you know, I like this game and I'm gonna play it every single day and whatnot. Like this is, I, I, I hate have to say this. I really do hate that I have to say this, but people are so stupid in the Roblox community and then they like to call me stupid when they're the, in fact the ones that are morons. But what I say is not hating. A lot of people take what I say uh, when I make these videos as hating. It's not hate, dog. it's critique. You know what I'm saying? And. The craziest part about it is that it's like actual devs, like people that actually work on games and make games, they know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But it's like the dummies, let me keep it PG, that be in the comment section, be be throwing a fit as if, they, man, I'm not, I'm not even gonna continue, man. Life is such that like the most, I mean, the, the people that have the most to say are the people that really truly don't know anything. And then they like to label me as the, Vix is dumbass. Oh, Vix is no one isn't that. And it's like, yeah, whatever, bro. But anyways, um, let's take on the next quest, right? So now we gotta go all the way back. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, no problem, Chief. Now we gotta go dig. So right now, by the way, the game's averaging like 10 to 15,000 players. I think 10,000 players at the time of this recording. Um, if my video does well when it gets uploaded, it might prompt the algorithm, uh, not YouTube, but the Roblox algorithm. Um, if the video does well and there's a surge of players 
to uh, let it do even better. I, I think this game could peak at like 20, 25K, possibly 30K. Um, but I think it'll hover between five to 10K as it is now. Um, because I, I, yo, the VFX in this game is nice. The map looked nice. Like, I really like the, the visual aesthetic of this game. But um, I, I just feel like, again, maybe the design choices they, they've went with are going to impact the, the long-term success of the game. So we'll see. But at least for now, we have something new to play and something that looks fun, right? So uh, now we got to go ahead and collect rice. So we just basically got to go over here and use our shovel, I guess. Yeah, you use your shovel and you collect rice. So yeah, like uh, something that I also uh, tend to ponder a lot uh, nowadays is the reasoning behind a lot of these games server sizes um, because like for example in this game right the server size doesn't look that big like with these players that are here um, and relative to the game size like the map size uh, I, again I I don't know because I feel like I'm, all, I'm by myself even though I see that person there but I feel like I'm playing the game solo dolo and I don't know how people are going to feel about doing that but maybe that's the experience slash vibe they wanted to go with um but yeah, like I'm, I'm just thinking about like what prompted this server size. Is it performance? Is, is it something else? Because like for a game that looks as big as this is, with this island being this huge, we should definitely have more players here, right? Um, but all right, here we go. We turn this in. Talk baby girl over here. She's like, I'm preparing a feast for a solo. Brother, so you mean to tell me that I could have talked to her before and took it on this quest, even though I wasn't at this story mission? Oh no. <laughs> You see, this is also another thing in my opinion. Like, you see how they have these icons, like these blue icons for like, uh, you know, story NPCs. Like, again, I feel like maybe they, maybe that should have only been visible if you're at that point in the story. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to talk to these NPCs or interact with them at all. Because for a new player, it's confusing. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm not gonna talk anymore about game design choices, feedback, and just critique overall because people are gonna think that I'm just like whatever. When I'm not, um, you guys know if you watch my videos on this game, like I'm a big believer in this game. Um, but I just feel like I, I don't know. A lot of these things could have been avoided. Like I, I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like um, Roblox games have like so much potential, and then they release, and it's like they fall short of every single expectation. Unfortunately. But anyway, uh, let's go down over here. Let's talk to this farmer. There you go. All right, this is all my fault. I'm a terrible parent. What if something happened to him? No, I must think that. Bring back my boy, I beg you. It pains me to say I won't be able to reward you with a lot, but I'll do my best to make it work for a while. Oh yeah, are you gonna get on your knees? Oh wait, what? Oh, so I gotta get to level 10 now. So I guess now is when I actually have to start doing like um, side quests and stuff like that. So. In the matter of that, check out the shop. Like, what, what can we buy, right? We can buy belly boost, XP boost, drop boost, mastery. God damn. How many boosts can we buy? <laughs> and every single one of them is expensive as hell, basically, in my opinion, because like one hour, 200 Robux? You're talking about if you wanted one hour of every single boost, what is that? Like 800 Robux for one hour? That's insane, bro. And uh, yeah, the game passes are expensive bro what? the coffin boat is two thousand robux oh nah man unreal is deviously rubbing his hands together as we speak <laughs> i've been like yeah we, oh yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get a bag off this one bro that's crazy so what do i do do i just like like go take the shanks but this is what i mean like why why don't they have a tutorial or at least something you can read up on do they no they don't like to tell you like hey this this is what uh this means this is what that means this is how you do this so, uh, let's take lucky's quest first right so what are you looking at this bar can't run itself we're running low on boar meat so uh we gotta defeat three boars are you kidding me so i gotta go 50 million miles away all right okay whatever <laughs> map design is important guys <laughs> uh, but they could have made it cows like Bro, we're right here. At least make it cows, not boars that are 50 million miles away. All right, here we go. So, uh, for some reason, yes, I am bugged. I cannot use my uh, my food abilities. I wonder why. Well, actually, I might not be bugged. I believe that food abilities uh, use your 
blue bar, which could be stamina or mana. I'm not really quite just sure in the bottom left hand corner. Yeah, that, that's that's what it was actually. All right. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, you uh, you can destroy stuff in the environment in this game, like trees and whatnot. And uh, I, I don't know if bushes and rocks also get destroyed. I mean, I guess I can try it out. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, that's not effective, but the trees are. All right, guys. And there you go. Ah, we leveled up, baby. All right. Quest complete. And we got another guy over here. Who's this guy? What's up, homie? I, I, I do. Oh, wait, that's a... That's a story quest because he's a blue icon. All right. Well, anyways, um, look, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Just test the water. See what you guys are, are thinking. You know, if you guys are vibing with this game, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, hopefully, God willing, I'll catch you guys tomorrow on another video on this game and we'll continue playing it. Um, to my boy, Unreal, if he ever comes across this video and watches it, uh, wish nothing but, uh, but the best for you and the, and the project. Uh, I will say personally, me as a fan of the project itself, uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, uh, uh, like, I don't know, like let down, like it, it, the project's kind of falling short of my expectations, but this is still very early on. Right. Um, we still have a lot of content to go through and we'll, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, we're definitely gonna enjoy our time. Hopefully, uh, these next couple of days playing this game. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.